welcome back to my channel or if you're new and just tuning in hello and welcome i have today another video for makeup i've been doing a few of them lately um i just had another one up um this is gonna go up probably about a week or so after um i filmed tomorrow is halloween i had previously wanted to do this look for you guys tonight um but it's very similar in colors it is the same colors just in reverse yellow on top red on bottom with a little bit of gold and i really wanted to do the freckles and the red nose because i have really red pigmented skin already so you know i figured why not ex exaggerate that a little bit and see how it looks but this look seems a little too hard um, not hard, but long of a process for me to do tonight. And I do have, it's already like 1.30 in the morning. And I have a few other videos I have to film as well. So I'm just going to dive into a different look. I really want to get that wing where it goes into the eye on the one side and then out like that um kind of like a cat eye and then uh a look similar to the colors browns reds dark kind of like a witchy vibe um like that um where was i um i was going i'm going to a um haunted house tomorrow with a friend of mine in Atascadero and um, I really wanted to um, do just a little bit of a dress up not really a dress up just like cute clothes um, gives that gives it like a witchy vibe and um, a cute makeup look and then I also thought about maybe going to Spirit Halloween on my way out tomorrow and grabbing a pair of like stick on fangs and just being a little vampire princess or vampire queen because I have a crown that's super cute and I really am itching to wear it and you've I think you've seen it in a previous um one of my previous Halloween videos so I figured why not um so I just put on the Ulta Beauty matte eye primer it is actually surprisingly very nice However, I, I've always loved Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. Um, it's just been a, a favorite of mine for a really long time. And I also love their setting sprays. I don't have any of either though, so I'm gonna work with what I got. All right, I cleaned up all my brushes from my last video. There's so many, I'm ready to go. We're gonna start, I think, with my eyebrows. I did not do my um, lashes today ahead of time because the cat eye look that I want with the eyeliner, I figured it might be a little bit too difficult to do um, with eyelashes already on. And I also wanted you kind guys to see just how bad I suck at putting them on. Or maybe I'll get lucky and they won't suck. But either way, I figured I'd show you guys that process. Plus, I haven't had time yet to put them on, and so I figured well, let's just hop into the video and do it on video. And if it ends up taking a bit of time, I will just um, go off camera, put them on, and show you guys the finished look, you know? Um, so I'm just putting on right now a brow tint. Same brow tint that I've been using the last few videos. Um, I got it from Ulta as well part of that um gift set well it wasn't part of the set it was something I bought and then they gave me um that as a gift this is something I bought and then they gave me the the set as a gift so I'm just gonna go in and kind of take off a little bit of the excess of this color from my brows because it's a really dark color my brows are just not that dark my hair however is so it kind of works fairly well 
um with the color of my hair but it's still kind of weird to look at and I, I just don't like looking at that dark of a brow like it just feels wrong um so like I want to buff that out and not have to deal with that dark of a brow you know and so I'm just gonna take this um brush that's like just a a non unnamed brush from an unnamed company and kind of take off a little bit of that darkness. I might go in, I think, with a eyeshadow color and kind of lighten it because it's very dark. And I know that the picture showed a very dark brow, but like, I don't know, it's just not working with my face. I feel, at least right now, that it's a horrible color. Um, I might just leave that for now though and kind of come back to it. I am going to put a little bit of Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Foundation on um, my brows, my brow bone, so that way it kind of um, diffuses the color and makes a sharper line. I haven't used this in a long time. And I really don't use foundation much. This came in an Ipsy as like a sample size. And so um, obviously I'm not going to not use it. Um, but also um, I don't use foundation in general. So this is perfect. This is perfect use. I'm going to take that down. And then we're going to kind of rub it out because obviously it's not exactly my skin tone. So I do need to buff it out so that way it doesn't show up so harshly. Alright, and then I do have makeup wipes but like I don't want to use them, you know. It's a little tedious to use a whole makeup wipe for that and so until I have more problems I kind of don't want to do that sorry I'm just readjusting my leg it was um tucked in into like a crisscross a half crisscross because my other leg is my like bad knee and so I can't really crisscross but I just wanted to stretch the other one out so I'm going to go finish up the other eye. I really don't want this video to be very long. My last makeup video I think ended up being about an hour or so long. And I feel like my, well, uh, not just feel like, I know my audience does not pay attention that long. Like from what I've seen, people don't watch my videos for more than about 5 to 10 minutes max. And that's like the most. Um, sometimes people watch my streams for longer because I'm like streaming and so they're watching the stream. Um, but for the most part, people don't, haven't been watching my videos for longer than a few minutes or so. So I really just don't want to um, talk that much because if it's not going to be seen, why waste my breath, you know? But I still love to film for you guys, for whoever does enjoy watching, just because, um, you know, I, I really enjoy it. And who knows who's going to see it and like it and learn from it helps somebody in the future. You never know. Okay, so I've done my brows and <clears throat> I think I previously mentioned just a bit ago that I don't do foundation. Um, I do have a face primer and a putty primer, um, from e.l.f. And then the face primer is from Ulta, but I just, I don't really, it creates, um, pimples a lot and I just don't like that. But I do use contour a little bit. I have the Hoola bronzer, so I'm just going to take that and kind of, um, put a little bit of bronzer on just so I look not dead. 
<laughs> Although that is kind of the look you go for if you're a vampire, supposedly. So I might not want to do that. I really want to try doing a, a Halloween look where I try to look like super skeletalish, and you know, uh, I have a big face, I have a big body, but like make it look like I have defined cheekbones and not uh, under chin, and you know, you know what I mean. Um, kind of like um, what's her name, Jolie, Angelina. I think that's her name correct me if I'm wrong Angelina Jolie I think that's it um but I doubt I could ever look anything similar to her but you know okay what's next I kind of want to do the eyeshadow next just so I can do that because it's like the most like important part of the look it's like the look in its entirety all right so we're gonna go with the james charles palette and i'm just gonna i'll show you the color i don't know the name unfortunately i'll show you the color where it's at and then i'll put it on so i'm gonna use the second row this red color it is a matte color and then next to it is um so we got that color and then next to it is a shimmery color. So I'm gonna use those two, but I'm also gonna use, um, probably this brown one, um, just as a base color. So let's go in with that one first and then we'll get dark in a second. Because I want my whole lid to be this color and then some of the lid to be the red, you know? Not the whole lid to be red, but like, I definitely want the brown everywhere. All right, so we got the brown. I'm going to look back at the picture, pictures I have saved and kind of see where I want to go. Part of me wants to just do a light red, like not go too dark with it, you know? I want the eyeliner to be, and the lashes to be kind of what sticks out. And the other part of me really wants to go super dark with the red, you know? Um, so it's kind of like a, a uh, where do I go? I'm going to start with the lighter colors and kind of work my way, you know? So I'm going to build on this color. And that is kind of one thing I really like about the James Charles palette. Um, it's a really buildable color palette. So if you don't like how dark it is and you just want it a little darker, you can go over it again. You're going to get what you want. Um, okay, so this picture looks like there's a little bit of red, but it's a mostly a brown look and a dark brown look, um, but not super dark. There's light points, so trying to think. Okay, so I'm going to go in with like a plum color instead of that deep red that I was showing you guys. I'm going to go in with like this color right here. It's the second row, third one in from the white side. And we're just going to kind of put that on and see how it looks. And then I can go darker or, or go a different route if I need to. Actually, no, that is so perfect. How did I know that that was going to be like the exact color I needed on top of the brown? That looks so nice. Like I wish that it showed up better on camera it really doesn't though unfortunately but I will show you guys how it looks in just a bit okay so hers 
All right, there's a little bit of darkness to that. So maybe I'll take a little dab at the dark color and just put it right there. And then Yeah, that looks nice. And then I want to lighten up the rest of my eye. So we're going to take that foundation, I think, again. Actually, we're going to try that nude eye primer and see if that works. We're going to clean this baby up. And that worked really well. I think the only reason this video is going to end up being shorter is just because even though I talk a lot during my makeup videos, I also am getting stuff done, you know? I'm doing the whole look. I'm not just like cutting out the in-between, you know? A lot of people do that. And I know I don't talk, like, right when I'm doing my makeup because I'm trying to, like, concentrate and not poke my eye out, but, like, you know. I keep you guys entertained, I hope. We're just gonna put a little bit of that right there to cover up fade out like a um, crease even though there's not a whole lot of it right there anyhow we're just gonna fade that out My kitty says hi again. All right, so we got got that. And then there's a like a brown right here under the eyelid. And then the cat eye. So let's do that. Let us use what brush? No, that's too thick. This brush should work just fine. This is the Luxe brush in the number 239 Pre Precision Shader. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm shading underneath the eye just to give it a little bit of a, not just a shadowed effect, but also my eyes are hooded. So a lot of the color does not show up on the top of the eye anyway. And so you really want to accentuate the eye by using your under eye. And I've just started doing an under eye shadow. And I really love it. I'm going to probably have to go darker with that color because it just doesn't show up how hers looks. So let us try. <laughs> the only other shade I have is super dark. Let's just tap it lightly and hope for the best. And I do, I open my mouth when I'm doing my eyelids and my ma uh, mascara. Um, it's just a habit that I can't kick. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like I'm dead. But I mean, I guess that is kind of the look in a sense. And all right, now we're gonna come together. I can always add more to that in just a bit, but for 
right now. Actually, I'm going to do my corners because those are going to get covered by eyeliner in a second. And I don't want to go over that again afterwards. So she doesn't have any shimmer in this look. But I want a little bit in the corner. So we're going to go in with the second no, the third color on the first line right here. Um, it's like a bronzish, not a bronze. It's like a, a, a tan, um, shimmer color. Just subtle, hopefully, is what I'm going for. And I'm using a, uh, tapered blending. The number three mini tapered blending brush from Farah. This isn't really giving me the desired effect. Like, it's giving it to me in one spot, but it's not in another. So I might have to go in with another color just to get what I really want out of it. In the corner. I'm going to go in with the second color, which is just a light, like a white um, highlight. And just right in that crease of the eyeball. Yeah, that gave me a, a good look. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys up close real quick what the eye looks like just with the shadow and without the wing because in case I mess up the wing. <laughs> so it looks like that. I do need to blend out right here, but I'm just gonna use my finger And then right here. Looks like that right now. And then I'm going to go in with the cat eye right there and mascara. And then I'll clean it up and do a few other things to make it look a little bit better than it does right now. <laughs> it looks like I punched an eye right now so we're definitely not keeping it like that fully all right so hopefully let's not ruin this and do the eyeliner okay so my regular eyeliner where my lashes are going to be I'm going to use the kiss magnetic again because that's what I want um that's what I'm going to need for the eyeliner that for the lashes to stick on anyway so we're just gonna do a nice line. I'm already kind of messing it up. Oh, did I fix it? I fixed it. No. We don't want to mess it up. Sorry. Okay. So I've got that one right now. And it's not great, but to start. And it's not winged out yet. That didn't get me any. I think we're getting to the end of my Kiss Magnetic color, and I'm so upset about that. I really like this, not color, uh, liner. I really like this liner. I might have to go get more. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and try to do the wing. And not fuck it up. There's not a lot of liners, so it's kind of hard. Let me just shake it up. There we go. There is a lot more in there. I can feel it, but it's kind of like all at the bottom. 
and also the brush is kind of iffy. Alright, so we got a decent wing there. Try not to bug it up. No, gotta let it dry. Also try not to scratch my face while I air dry my eyeball. Then we're gonna go for the other eye. Wing, I should have done the left one first for the wing. So it's always the one that's the hardest to get. And so like, if I mess it up, I can just, if I make it too long and too wide, I can just fix the other one to look like that, you know? One's definitely wider and longer. That looks good going out. Now let's get as much as we can on this going in. Okay, so from the looks of it, it just goes in a little tiny bit. I'm gonna close this all the way up and kinda There we go. I just got a whole lot. Okay. I did it. It's not the prettiest, but it's not the worst either. How's it look? <laughs> I know you guys can't really see it yet. I will get closer, I promise. And I don't know why I did the right first. Oh no. We messed up. I hate eyeliner sometimes. I really do. Alright, so we're going to close her back up. Go back in with some foundation. Fix up this part. Keep working. Really? I hate eyeliner. It's so hard to work with. Okay. And this right here, guys, is why I don't use why I don't wait till the last second to do the liner because it's usually what I pick 
take the longest with is putting on lashes and liner. We got it looking decent. Don't let it dry. I'll bring you guys in real quick just take a look that one looks pretty great that one looks worse but I think it looks relatively decent I'm gonna make the wing thicker but other than that then maybe add a little bit more shadow because the shadow just does not you see my lids they've disappeared so let's get to it But it's looking decent. It's kind of a process to get to looking just how I want it to. But that's kind of the point, you know? Half the fun's the journey. Okay, so I fixed that as best as I could. And then we're going to add more color to my lids. much better and then more brown I promise you it will look Less like I punched my eyes. Got or got punched in the eye. Okay. Starting with the left this time. her a little thicker. How's she looking guys? I can't tell. She's not dry yet so I'm going to keep kind of somewhat eyes closed and add more add more shadow while we wait. Okay, 
And now I'm going to add a little bit of the white eyeliner to under my eyes just to make them look a little bit whiter. If I can get it open. And this is the Arrow Enhance. Um, it's a dual end stick. I got it from Birchbox. It's a Birchbox brand item, I believe. Like, only Birchbox sells it. Looks like this. It's dual ended black and um, like a pink. It looks white to the eye, like on camera. But it is not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have to make some adjustments because this is not looking quite how I want it to look. Gonna put a little bit of. I'm gonna try the tattoo liner because it's a thinner brush. looks much better here than I think it does on camera right this second but I still don't have my lashes on and I still don't have mascara on or lipstick so we're not fully there yet rub off my lips I'm actually gonna put a little bit of chapstick on while I do my I do my um lashes so um they have time to soak that in a little all right here we go lash number one
wash number one is on. That went decently well. Hopefully it stays going well. All right, here we got wash number two. All right, they're on. Did not go horribly. That was one of my better applications. I'm getting better, guys. It always feels like there's bushes on my eyes, though, for a while. So it's kind of interesting to get used to. All right, then we got mascara. And then we're getting to the end, guys. We're working on it. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. It's been a long one. Again. Alrighty. Looks very dark from afar. How are we looking? Need to contour the nose a little and then do the lips. I'm not sure what color to do the lips if I want to go nude or like a, a light color or dark with it. I think I'm gonna go light just because my eyes are so dark and um, she has a dark lip on, but I'm not her. We don't have the same complexion, so I feel like it might just be a little too dark. Decent. I'm gonna try this color. I can always darken it up if I need to, but start with a light color and work your way up to the darks. Wipe off the chapstick so it can matte down.
I think this color works fairly well. I, I'm going to add a little bit of a touch of color, darker color to it, just to give it a less purplish pink vibe and a more brown pink vibe. Mm. nice that is the color i want all right let us get a closer look now it's very dark i get it that is what i was going for my nose is a little too dark on that side but that's all right this is the finished look how do you guys like it do you guys like it? I hope you guys like it. I like it. Um, I think my eyes are a little dark. I might, um, tomorrow not put the dark underneath or go light with it. Do something to lighten it up a little bit. Maybe not do the cat eye. I like the cat eye. It looks cute. It's just, my eyes are, my eye shape is really small to begin with, and black just kind of accentuates that. I really do like it, though. It's super cute. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. I've been doing a lot of makeup videos, so you'll probably see more of those coming from me very soon. And then I have a bunch of crystal videos for you guys. And I also have um, some hauls. So, and then I probably will do some ghost hunting soon. And more Fortnite, of course. So, stay tuned. And I'll see you next time. Bye.